Good evening, everyone, and thank you for coming back to the channel. And we're going to have this segment we call Get to the Point. Get, get to the point. Get to the point. Get, get to the point. Jeff Chanel's for this world. Stop talking and lala gagging. Get to the point. Okay. We have this explosive news, y'all, brought out by none other than Bossup.com, honey. They telling us, giving us dirt, that Mark Daly is accused of cheating on Kenya with multiple women, honey. Yes, but you know, he warned all the bloggers out there and told them, excuse me, told us that he would not stand for any innuendos, any thoughts accusations accused of cheating on Kenya Walker. He didn't do it. That's what he said. That's what he said. He didn't do it. But evidently somebody got proof that he did it and they bringing it out. It wasn't me. I'm just reporting what I heard so y'all can make your own uh, examples what your, uh, examples in your you all's head to understand what is the truth, what's not the truth, and what's just plain bullshit. Okay. But instead of you going down to your local drugstore or grocery store picking up a magazine telling you about it, I give it to you for free. So definitely hit that subscribe button so you can get those notifications that fly in when I drop a salacious story for you to take part in and give me your own comments. And definitely like and share my videos. Okay, but let's get on into the story now. Okay, it was said to have been written by a Boss up staff writer or journalist, however you want to uh, correspond, however you want to look at it, okay? But they don't get no names, so I can't throw no shout outs. But they know who they are who wrote the article, and so we just give them those kudos, okay? But the title was Mark Daly Accused of Cheating on Kenya Moore. Now, we knew it had to be something. Now, him just not wanting to be filming on TV, that's one thing. You know, that kind of hit the pockets deep, especially when she chose love and a man, her baby's daddy, her husband, over fame, fortune, and the entertainment world are looking cool in the limelight and just having people drool all over you, want to get a piece of you. You know how that gets when you're starstruck. But anyway, that's the article title that they give us. Let's get on into the story, okay? It says Mark Daly. Okay, there's been more details released on Kenya Moore split from Mark Daly. And it's getting especially messy, 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 messy in the camp over there. Okay, it's getting messy over there. Some heads are going to roll. And that was just me that wasn't in the article. But we're going to get back to the article. It says, as previously reported, Kenya announced her split from Mark on September 19th. Here it is. What? October 4th. All right, just a couple of weeks. Uh, and simply said their divorce was due to recent and ongoing circumstances. Now, we heard both sides. You know what I'm saying? He had to definitely uh, had to separate from Kenya. Of course, Kenya said she's getting a divorce, and that's all that had to be to the situation. She stands firm in her decision. She's woman. Hear her roar. It's, it's her and baby Brooklyn against the world. She's holding the torch like Lady Liberty up there in New York. That's how she's giving me the picture I'm forming in my head, okay? Knowing she's suffering deep inside. If in true, in fact, this was a true marriage, which y'all know how I feel about it. Kenya is a wonderful actress. She can play many faces. She can give us whatever she desires uh, that's written down in her script to play or whatever part she wants to play on her own and spin her own narrative and give her give us the results she wants us to have, all right? But anyway, it goes back to the article. It says, Mark was a bit more defiant, however, and warned the press not to speculate about details of they split. Now, we can speculate any time we get ready, Mark, because everything is allegedly, okay? We didn't go out here and do these little things that they're accusing you of doing. And I do know, sometimes a lie can turn into truth. I know experience on that. I have definitely experienced that, Mark. But however, my character has always been the same. From the time I became an adult to the time I am seasoned here, my character has always been not in question. To one in particular time, but that's neither here nor there. Y'all don't want to understand or, or know about that situation. It's quite boring, but it just is what it is. I know how a lie can be turned into the truth if they can convince enough people to believe it. Okay? So, we go on back to the story. 
it says now however there are indeed rumors swirling and they're targeting mark for alleged infidelity if anybody don't know what that big word means it means you was cheating out there okay you were cheating don't know if you were cheating with a woman a man or animal it don't matter it's just saying you was cheating out there okay that's what infidelity especially when you're married okay don't go for uh girlfriends and boyfriends and all like that but you can still quote it if y'all tight y'all monogamous monogamous that's the right word monogamous with one another, then yeah, you can still have form of cheating, say infidelity, especially if you love it on each other, you're doing everything, you're uh shooting for that one time where y'all become one marriage man and a woman, okay, or female, female, or man and man. Hey, we got it going out there now. You know what I'm talking about. You committed to that one person, and that one person's for life, okay. Going back to the article, U.S. Weekly reports now. See, U.S. Weekly is some big, big, big people. A blogging magazine rag, okay? So, before you come get these little small YouTubers, you better be done hit the big tube, you, YouTubers first, okay? But anyway, because we still going to, we going to, what do you call it? You can't get nothing from a term, you can't get nothing from a rock. What they say? You can't get nothing from a bleeding rock. Shit, I don't know what y'all, what I'm talking about, but y'all know what I'm saying. Go ask your grandmama or your grandpa. They know what I'm talking about. You can't get that from a bleeding turnip or a rock. It's something I'll probably think about it after I be done edit this uh, video and um, put it to, to rest. But anyway, you know what I'm talking about. You can't get nothing from nothing because nothing from nothing leaves nothing. It's basically, let me put it to you like that. All right. Going back, it says U.S. Weekly reports that Mark was allegedly unfaithful to the Real Housewives of Atlanta star and they're citing an exclusive source with giving them the information. So that means somebody done sat and, and told Mark's business and they just running rapid with it. And they probably gave him a big paycheck or, or her. It could be him or her or it. I don't know, okay? <laughs> but they they gave some truth, okay? And U.S. Weekly, like I said, they big. They big. They the big commentary uh, magazine out there, okay? They can go to test the time. They can let Mark try to sue them. He won't get nowhere because we got the 13th Amendment freedom of speech. And everybody's always saying allegedly. Everybody's saying disclaimers on the <coughs> sending out disclaimers saying it's only for entertainment purposes. No, nothing to really hurt a person. Okay? But if you're out there living foul, of course you're going to get some foul shit thrown back at you. All right. The truth is the truth. Let, let the say the truth and let the truth be free. Wow, okay. I messed that up. What did it say? Say tell the truth and shame the devil. And if you tell the truth, you'll be set free. Something like that. Can't get my stuff together tonight because I'm just too excited about this story, okay? Because I can't believe how Mark can go and say one thing and then turn around and say another thing. <coughs> he been hanging around Kenya too long and he ain't got Kenya's poise or class when you want to tell a lie to get it to stick, okay? He had, she hadn't educated him enough and he, he needs to take lessons from her because she's the best out there other than fooling with any leaks, okay? They are the best manipulators that's out there. And you better stay quick, fast, and hurry and aware of what they're doing. Because <coughs> they'll be done turn the tables on you before you had a chance to blink. <laughs> or yawn. All right. But anyway, sticking with the uh, article, it's saying they had a source who's giving them the concrete information that's going to be able to put Mark Daly to rest. Okay? Because I even heard when one of those little clips on the... Uh, the little trailers they were giving us, he was saying, hell, you can take it all. I'll build it back. I'm like, I don't know. I don't know if that's a true statement because there's rumors going around and the streets are talking, Mark, that Kenya had to bail you out of that $100,000 debt. Uh, what do you call it? Tax lien or uh, uh, failure to pay the uh, uh, IRS back, the IRS Internal Revenue Service. Them people, they Uncle Sam. I don't care where you go, they're going to find you. You go hide under the rock, they're going to pull you out. You go hide in the cave, they're going to come with their capital equipment and flush you out. Okay, that's just how deep the IRS goes. Don't play with them folks. No, that's not like playing with God himself. Don't play with them. They will mess you up for life. Okay? Anyway, going back to the article, it says, Mark has had multiple affairs on Kenya. The source claims to us. She walked away from her career for him, and he had no problem with that. And no problem disrespecting her either. So, see, he love her, and then he slap her in the face. Lit well, not literally, but, you know, figuratively. Okay, speaking. All right. 
Mind, <coughs> excuse me, mind you this, all comes from Love B. Scott reported that Daly may have been previously married with two children he allegedly hid from more. Now, I don't know. I'm trying to figure out how can you hide one, or one wife and two kids? Who going to stay quiet and all that? Where was he going that Kenya didn't try to stroll and go with him? You know what I'm saying? But then again, she was living there. He was living there. So it was quite easy to do it. Unless Kenya had her spies out there. She done hired the paparazzi to go follow, track, and survey everything he's doing, including what time he go and take a dump. Okay? That's what I'm saying. He don't be playing with these folks. But anyway... It says her split from Mark will play out on the Real Housewives of Atlanta season 12 when it airs in November. And a trailer for the new season, Kenya and Mark are seeing arguing over their prenup. <laughs> well, lo and behold, at least they got a prenup. And I'm sure Kenya, with all her conniving ways, she got it sold up. She don't have her eyes dotted and her teeth crossed. Any money she gave out, believe it she's gonna reciprocate it on the back end so he ain't getting away with nothing if anything she's gonna get her money back for him playing a role of being her husband okay but that's just my opinion those are my emotions y'all know how i get down i know y'all gonna get down in these comments y'all gonna <coughs> excuse me for the faithful few that little kid y'all gonna tell a new hole in my ass okay i know you are <coughs> but i had to get this story out Getting kind of hoarse. I got one more story to bring you all. And then I think I'm going to call it a wrap. But y'all get down in the comments. Tell me what you think about this situation. And if Kenya is really thinking about going back to this man, is she crazy? Do she got egg on her face? I mean, unless she was cheating too. Okay, then it's like the cop calling the pedal. Oh, wait a minute. The cop. Damn. The, thank you, Shasta. The pot calling the kettle black. Okay, I can't get my words together. I'm so excited about this story. I'm like, come on, fool. Now, that this one time of mindless drama. Take my mind off the shit that I'm worried about that's happening in real life. Okay, they playing on TV so they can give us whatever they want to give us. And we don't really know if it's true. We just out here reporting on bullshit. Okay, if we really want the truth. But like I said, it's good banter, coffee banter, uh, cocktail banter. Even with your family banter that you could talk about. Okay? And just can't believe the stuff that's popping off uh, out there in them streets in the celebrity world. Okay? But like I said, thank you for coming to my channel. Thank you for subscribing to me. Continue to subscribe to me. Let's blow up together. Okay? Because I'm still working on that computer. And you know I'm still working on that mic. So I can sing to you all here and there. Beat on my drums. And I don't know, a swing from the chandelier. Whatever that's going to entertain you and keep you here. Okay? But that's all I got, guys. Y'all be blessed. I'll talk to you later. Bye-bye.